Well, welcome to Miami Beach. What a destination this is. It is, of course, the second leg of the Global Champions League. It is the only stopover on American soil, so the home riders are out in force and looking to impress. With the local fans supporting, Miami Glory will field the established combination of Scott Brash and Georgina Bloomberg. Top American rider Kent Farrington joins forces with British Olympic gold medalist Ben Mayer for the first time with the London Knights. Fellow US rider Laura Kraut returns to Miami Beach with the Rome Gladiators alongside Lorenzo De Luca, with the pair uniting for the first time. Looking for back-to-back -back wins, though, are the current league leaders and the defending champions, Valcons Vard United. They keep the winning pair from Mexico with Bertram Allen alongside Alberto Zorzi. With horses and riders competing just inches from the glittering Atlantic Ocean, spectators can get up really close and see some of the stars of show jumping who are all here competing for precious ranking points. You know, I think it's really exciting showing here in the U.S. having this level competition here in the States. We don't get to do that every week. Um, so exciting way to showcase our sport here in Miami. We have a really great team this year. Scott Brash is returning again. You know, Scott's not only a great rider and a great person, but he's an incredible teammate. And um, he's always been there, um, you know, whether it's on a horse to provide a clear round or on the ground to provide us with advice. It's just the two of us here, so it's really important that we um, sort of come together and provide those clear rounds for our team. New format this year, so we're going to have to sort of revamp our strategy from last year, but um, very, very much looking forward to it. I mean, the scenery here is beautiful. We've got some great fans here. So I, I think it's a uh, it's great atmosphere. In the first round of the Global Champions League, poles rolled all over the course with top riders caught out by the sharp turnbacks, wide oxes and light poles as they fought for the best spot ahead of the final. Yanni Frederica Meyer Zimmerman of the Shanghai Swans was the first to jump clear. Oh, but it was the unstoppable duo of Bertram Allen and Alberto Zorzi who put in the perfect performance to ensure that their team would be in pole position heading into the final, breaking away from the rest of the field as the only combination to jump clear for the second leg in a row. Is it going to be enough? Yes it is, he's there once again. I know that if you don't start really strong, if you, if you did have a mess up last week and, and again a bad day today, then it starts to get a struggle. So I think we're getting a little bit of a head start, but um, Saturday is going to be very important. 